Meantime, Philly Fed President Patrick Harker speaking now. Steve Leisman has the headlines. Steve. Thanks very much, Kelly. Uh, Philly Fed President Patrick Harker saying we are close to the point where we can hold rates in place. Just a note, yesterday he talked about skipping, saying skipping was not holding, that they could come back and hike again. But today he's talking about close to a point where they could hold rates. He says there are promising signs that Fed rate hikes are working. The economy, he says, remains relatively healthy amid those rate hikes. He expects inflation to fall to 3.5% this year, 25 in 2024, and meet the Fed's 2% target in 2025. Unemployment, he says, will rise to 4.4% this year. That would be a full percentage point higher. I want to take a look, Kelly, uh, for purposes of the conversation we're about to have um, at the probabilities. And you can see here we flipped on a dime this week. We started off 70-30 in favor of a cut. We're now 70-30 in favor of a hold. However, we have... Uh, pushed ahead, I guess, our expectations. Here's what July looks like. You can see that there's a 40% probability there when it comes to the possibility of a hold. And then uh, what is that, 47% for a hike and even 13% looking for 50 basis points. So they've put it ahead, and we'll see if that remains the case um, after Harker speaks and all the other folks that have been out there, Kelly. So Harker's hold, is that more dovish than a skip? I, I think to so. I this. think so. I will point out that my producer Betsy Spring does does point out that yesterday's remarks were not scripted. Today's were interesting. So I don't know if he wants to upgrade his skip to a hold or if it was just off the top of his head. Typically, when they talk about these things, they think about their words very carefully, and we read them carefully. I don't want to get too overly sure. linguistically geeky about this stuff, but in any event, he is saying hold today after uh, being close to that point. And he said, skip yesterday, not a pause. And the Dow's still up 209.